Mankind has always had a fascination with gold. The quest for the precious metal has led to mining and even filtering gold from river waters. In the district of Wayanad in India, history tells us that gold was found in abundance before the era of Christ, and that the Britishers were in the forefront of the hunt for it. The construction of the Banasura Dam in Wayanad led to the displacement of the inhabitants of Theriode, who had migrated there from different regions, including Travancore and Malabar. The village, which could have been one of the biggest towns in Wayanad, is now submerged underwater, and its gold fields, like the ones in the hit Kannada film KGF, have faded into oblivion. Official records indicate that gold mining in India began in AD 200 and became more extensive after the arrival of the British. The British East India Company began sourcing gold in a big way in Kohler in the 1800s, and other major gold mining sites included Hanali in Karnataka, Ramagiri in Huddy in Andhra Pradesh, Gadag in Goa and Malabar in Wayanad. Gold mining studies were conducted before they were done in Kohler. When a law was enacted allowing the British to earn income in regions under the British East India Company, the Britishers started plantations covering large areas in Wayanad. The arrival of Smith Moon, an Australian who started the Alpha Gold Mine in 1874, led to the start of gold mining operations in Wayanad. Many companies in London also began to take an interest in the gold rush, and the mining-related activities were centered in Thera Theriode, Churilmala, the Vinjal, Mapati, the Theory, Davala, Cherambadi, and Pandalar. The history of gold mining in Wayanad is a fascinating one, and the documentary Theriode, directed by Nirmal Baby Varghese, takes a glimpse into the past of this hamlet with gold fields. The glittering gold of Malabar may be lost to the waters of the Benasura Dam, but the memories of the Malabar gold rush and Malabar gold mania will forever be etched in the annals of history.